Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Flamingo TV. Today we are going to see how to create the collider, the score and the health bar of the game ship tutorial. Um, so first we will have to make some changes in the old code, uh, add the assets, create the collider, update the health bar and increase the score. Okay, so uh, let's let make the changes. So I have to change um, in enemy address this dot available. Okay, I made a mistake when I when I typed the name uh, available. So here it's in enemy.js. Let's make it bigger. Okay, um, so here available. So there is just two, but there is actually more here. Yeah, and I made a mistake. So let's change here uh, line 50 and line 24 available was misspelled. So okay, that's changed and also uh, we need to reset the life in the ship here so what's what we need to do here actually the life of the ship is uh, four okay but actually when it, when uh, the ship is hidden it hit yeah sorry uh, it takes one life less but when we spawn the ship we need to reset the life to four because when we tap to reset the game we'll tap to reset the game the life should be uh, back to four, okay? So let's set life here. Actually, you can copy paste this part here to four, okay? So that's okay. And then the last part we need to change here is uh, bullet.js. We need to add a variable in bullet.js to do the same uh, thing that we are doing in enemy.js. Um, so here, this a variable is equal to true because the bullet is a variable we can shoot it and when we shoot the bullet it becomes not a variable so here a variable is false and then when uh, the time driver the animation is complete we set a variable to uh, true again okay great so uh, now that we have made the changes we need to add the assets so what are we going to need for um, this tutorial? We need to add the live bar. Okay, so you can make the live bar using SDF, or you can like create the live bar in an animation sequence uh, sequence inside uh, using different PNGs. So what I've done is uh, I have used the animation sequence of uh, health bar here sequence, and I have created a few PNGs here, here. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the, the, um, if you want to see how the PNG looks like, we can have a quick look to the PNG. So it looks like this. Okay, so the live bar is increasing and decreasing. Right. Um, I will just disable for every of this the compression. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, and then uh, create a new material here. Sorry material here which we're gonna call earth bar material and it will take the animation sequence here of earth bar sequence inside the earth bar sequence we can also uh, uncheck loop here uncheck loop okay then let me make this smaller okay and then here so the score will it will be here on the forehead um to the text score text here start from at zero so take full width here okay and then the size can go maybe 60 change the font to something cool tuk 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 yeah this is cool and change the color uh, make something I don't know, a little bit of a range more red here okay uh, also, we will set it to flat. Oh, no, we don't need. Okay. Anyway, and great. And I'm changing also the position. Let's say 200. No, too much. 100. Okay, great. Forehead. Perfect. Um, also, what we need is to add the health bar. So the health bar will be just under our ship. So let's create a, add a plane inside our ship so it will follow the position of the ship. Uh, we can add 
our earth bar material and call the plane earth bar. Here. Okay. Uh, so let's see how it looks like because we will need to change a little bit the width and maybe the height and the width. This is yeah, okay. Uh, smaller. Yeah. And then position minus 0 0.01. No, or 0 0.04. Okay, great, looks great. Now let's add the assets inside our script here. So uh, what we need to add first uh, is find first uh, what we've called score text. If I, but, um, it's spelling it uh, somewhat at text, score text, okay, here. So score text, uh, we have to change uh, the position of them here because score text is now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is now 5, so 5 becomes 6, etc. So here, um, <coughs> 8 becomes 9, 7 here uh, becomes 8, 8 becomes 9, 5, and 5 becomes 6. Here. And six uh, becomes seven. Okay, let's see if I haven't made any mistakes. Let's restart. No, it's okay. We can shoot bullets. Yeah, okay. And then also uh, we have to take the animation sequence that we have called eighth bar, earth bar sequence here. Let's copy paste the name. Okay. And here we can use here, it's, it's a texture. We need to use the find first method here. Health bar sequence. So, health bar sequence uh, will be uh, number nine, I think. And enemy math becomes 10. So, nine is now 10. Sorry. Now, nine is now 10. Let's try. Okay. And then we can shoot and see here our little head. Also, uh, something I have noticed is that the enemies they go very, they go fast. So let's do this here. Uh, it will be easier to try to test and then even to play. So now um, let's create the collider. So we will create the collider inside inside our game manager script file here. Okay, um, we will create it here. Um, to create our collider, we need to create a function that will check the collision between two objects, okay? We only use x axis and y axis inside this game, not z. So the collision, we will need only to check these two axes, okay? So uh, let's create this method that will check these two axes and we check the collision. We can call it objects collided, like this, okay? Uh, that will return a true or false if the objects have been colliding. Two, uh, and then we can add is it's object one, o one, and yeah, we can see obj one and obj two, and then the distance that we need to check between the two objects if they have been colliding. Um, to do this, we are going to use a method inside the reactive module. So we need to insert the reactive module. Uh, here. And this method inside the reactive module is called distance. Okay. So let's have a look to distance. Distance here inside the, the reactive module. It returns the distance from the point to another point. Okay. So it returns a distance. And we will check if this distance is lower than the distance that we pass here. Then there is a collision. And we check x axis and y axis. Okay, so let's let's do this. Um, x collided. So to do this, reactive distance. So object object one x and object two x. If it's lower than distance, 
we pin less value. And if it's the case, then there is a collision in the x axis. Okay, let's make it a little bit readable here. Okay, do this. And also, we do the same. Let's copy paste. We do the same for the y axis here. So we call it y collided. Okay, here. And then we return if x collided with y and with and x collided with y. If both collided, it means that um, there is a collision between the two objects. So now let's create our collider function. Here. The collider will take game manager in arguments and also later it will take load our loader. And not enemies because the enemies is here inside. It's already a global function here. Okay, so I don't know why the camera bugged. So let's just reset here. Okay, so now uh, we what we will do is check every enemies is they have collided with a bullet or with the ship. Okay, so here enemies for each enemy. Yeah. And actually we are not checking all the enemy, we are checking that the enemies that are actually uh, inside the game that have been spawned and not explode. So the enemies that are available. Uh, that are not available. Here. So if an enemy is not available, meaning that it's inside the game, um, check if there is a collision. So object collided here. We can copy and paste this. Here. Actually, what's our object 1 and what's our object 2? Here. Let's, yeah, do something. Uh, object 1. Actually, it's our uh, enemy transform plane, enemy plane transform here, and our object two is our um, ship. So the ship is inside the game manager, and same inside the ship there is this plane, and we can get the transform here. Okay, so here and the distance for the ship and the, and the enemy is 50, okay? So if there is a collision, let's try if we see if it's working. Let's print something. Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to call the collider actually here, collider. Uh, we call the collider inside our loop because we check every uh, iteration of this loop that if there is a collision, so collider, um, let's see, pass the game manager, which is, we are inside the class game manager, so the game manager is actually this, okay? Um, so let's see. See, enemy spawning slowly. Yeah, so here, hit, yes, there is collision. Collided, collided, collided. Prints several times because now it's, there is a collision when, it, when the, the trooper is inside the ship here, collision, and we loop every 100 milliseconds. So it checks several times. So now what's happening when there is a collision? When there is a collision, the enemy is taking a hit. Okay, same for the ship. Here. And also what is happening? When an enemy is hitting, is hit. Sorry, it took. It took. Um, it's taking one minus one life point. F same for the uh, the ship. Okay, so if enemy life is equal to zero, meaning that is the enemy is dead, it explodes. Okay, and same here. If the game manager ship life is equal to zero, same the game manager uh, ship explode okay and also what's happening game manager it's game over okay here that way so let's try
take a hit here. One, two, three, and then four, and the ship is game over, and the game is, is over. Okay, we see like two stormtrooper because they have been spawning a little bit uh, just before we die. So here, game over, and then we can start again and try and try again, and then it will be game over. Okay. Um, so now let's do the same thing when there is uh, a bullet. Okay, but for that, uh, when the enemy is hit by a bullet. Okay, but that's a, the, the 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 goal of the game. But for that, we need the loader, and the loader is not in this uh, in this file. Okay, we need to uh, pass the loader to start here, to give it to collider here, to copy paste, and then pass it here. Okay, and then we need to uh, pass it in the script here in the game manager. Uh, start here and then loader. Yeah. Okay, so now we have loader inside uh, our game manager, and we can sorry, and we can pass it here. So we we do the same. Okay, so um, if enemy is available, still in, inside this file here. We uh, go through every bullet, load out for each bullet. We do the same, we check if the bullet is available. Should not, should not be available here. And we will do the same, we will uh, see if there is a collision. Okay? But it's not a collision between um, the enemy, uh, the the enemy and the ship, but it's a collision between the enemy and the. Um, so object one, we don't have to actually. Object one is a. Uh, can we can rename this? Okay, it's 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 better. Like we call this like enemy transform or enemy transform here. Okay, and this is enemy transform, and this is ship transform. Okay, so enemy transform, we can use it. Uh, let me copy paste this here. We don't have to create an enemy transform again. So here, enemy will take a hit, and it will explode. Okay. If it's it's by the bullet, but what we need to create here, if the bullet is available, is to create a bullet transform. Here. Oh yeah, let's create a bullet transform here. Plane transform here, <clears throat> and use bullet transform here, and let's like maybe fifty is a bit too much. Because the bullet is smaller and the stormtrooper also than the ship. Okay. First, we need to change it here. Here. So, okay. Let's try if it works. Yeah. So now we can destroy our stormtrooper here. Yeah. We managed to destroy uh, bullets. So now what we're gonna do is update the score. So now we need to create a, a variable that we can create here. Score, which is equal to zero at the beginning, okay? And here, we will increase the score here. And also, what we need to do is get the text and update the text here on, on the forehead, okay? So, um, the text, we can set it here. Here inside the game inside our game manager here dot score text which is equal to um, score here we can set it here <clears throat> we can set also when we start the game yeah oh we. Yeah, we can set it here, mid game, and also what we can do 
is we can increase score here. Uh, score is the start start the score. Score is equal to zero. Okay, and here what we can do also is update the score here and update the score here. Okay, let's see if it works. And oh, this is not this is game mad game manager score text. Okay. And here, either it's not a good thing to do. Yeah, okay. Um, I should not forget this. We should pass score text to our game manager when we build it, when we are building it. So let's go back to the script here, game manager. Uh, where do I build it? Here, I build it here. So our score text is here. This is number five. Uh, oh, sorry. Here, number one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, here. So results of five. Here inside our game manager, so we can pass it here. So now let's try. Here we come from here. Zero, zero, zero. Um, it's not working. Anyway, let's have a look why it is not working. Um, here. Score is zero when we need the game. Score text is equal to oh yeah okay I forgot this. Score text the text here and the same here. For or else it will not work here. So we have to set the attribute text inside the text. Yeah, so let's try again. Yeah, I can shoot. Yeah, one. Two, uh, three, and then four. Okay, and now let's see when I die. Zero, doom, a bit last hit, game over. So it's four, and when I start the game, it we start at zero. Okay, and we can play again. Okay, um, so now let's uh, let's change the health bar. Okay. The life bar, we need to get it from the script. We get it from the script here. So the health bar is a uh, result of nine here. Um, so if I go to my ship, I will pass this to my ship, results of nine. Here. Now let's go inside our ship. So we'll take the health bar here. Health bar is equal to the health bar. And inside Earth bar, we have a, a property called current frame. So when it's hit here, the current frame, sorry, the current frame is equal to life. Because we have four life and we have also four uh, frame. So here, and we set it here to the life also. So let's see if it works. So we start full life, and then when I take a hit, I'm losing one point of life, second point, third point, and then now I'm dead. Oh, game over. Okay. And then when I tap again, I start again. <laughs> I should start with uh, full life, but I don't know why I'm starting. With minus one life. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look to life here. So life is four. Yeah. Taking a hit. Maybe maybe the plane took a hit with a. One of the last stormtrooper head when it started again. Game over. Let's wait until the head are down. And let's start again. Four. Yeah, took a hit. Took a hit with the um, with the stormtrooper head. Because it took a hit with stormtrooper head, uh, what we can do actually to prevent this 
we go inside our game manager here and when the game is over we can loop over each each uh, each some to enemies and enemy here and so if enemy available is equal to false which means they are in game we can do enemy the time driver Let's see if it works. It's a bit long, I know. Hit, 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 game over. And then we stop. And then what we can do also, uh, we can do something like enemy that hidden. Uh, that plane in an is equal to uh, true because here in the enemy when we uh, spawn them we show them okay so we can do this that plane hidden is equal to true here plane hidden is equal to true so that's a way to prevent it and then we will hide them also so let's start again. Let's let's try. Yeah. So they disappeared, and when we start again, they are reappearing as normal, and then we can play the game. Okay. Something what we, that we need to do also here in the script file, line 82, we need to remove this because we were automatically setting game over after 50 seconds. And also um, disable the print, that is inside the game manager, uh, printing the score somewhere. Uh, let me find it, no, it's not here. Here in the ship, we were putting the light, so remove it here, and also here there is an error. Okay, that's normal. Thank you for watching. It was the last tutorial of the um, to make the game. Actually, now you have like a playable game. So uh, let uh, me know what you come up with if you make something out of these tutorials. And um, yeah, just uh, have a great day. See you. Bye bye.